This is the Bulgarian Riviera, the western coast of the Black Sea. This coastline stretches from the border with Romania to the border with Turkey and it is 378 kilometers long. We are going to explore it completely from the north to south and we will visit most of the interesting points on the way. In this video we reach Burgas and proceed further along the southern Bulgarian sea coast. This is Burgas, the second largest and important city on the Bulgarian Riviera. We walk around its beautiful center in the early morning before the people go to work. We arrive at Port Burgas, one of the main entry points for sea transportation in Bulgaria. Right beside it is the long and wide beach of Burgas. This is the most beautiful part of the beach, the long bridge that reveals amazing views of the city coast, the sand strip and the bay of Burgas. We leave Burgas and the first resort village on the way is Kraimorje. Today Kraimorje is turned into a part of Burgas. After Kraimorje, the coastline forms a lot of bays and peninsulas. And on one of the bays is the fishing village the largest one in Bulgaria. From one of the peninsulas we can see a small island called Saint Anastasia. This is the next resort village on the way, Chernomorets. It is located on two peninsulas and two bays with excellent sand beaches. The main road leads us to Sozopol, one of the most beautiful towns on the Bulgarian Riviera. Here we turn left to its old part. Before we enter among the old traditional houses, we see a church called Saint Kirill in Methodi. Two saints who have invented the Cyrillic alphabet. This place is full of souvenir stalls and shops in summer, but also of ancient remains. Sozopo is an ancient city established by Greek colonists around 2700 years ago. Its original Greek name is Apollonia. Today the old part of the town consists mainly of houses in traditional style. They are mixed with some ancient ruins like this. These are the arcs of the ancient city of Apollonia. Thank you. 
We proceed on the beautiful streets of Sozopol. They are also full of restaurants offering Bulgarian traditional food and wine. And again, here is also full of souvenirs and a lot of art. As you can see, here the traditional houses are mainly made by wood, like in Nesebar. This is typical for the coastal old towns in Bulgaria. The old town of Sozopo is built on a peninsula and we reach its tip called Cape Skamni. It is full of beautiful rocks and cliffs. This is a great place for photos. Here we can see another ancient site, the remains of the medieval monastery Saint Apostles. From here, we can also see the largest island on the Bulgarian Riviera, St. Ivan Island. We back to the entrance of the old town. There is a deep bay between the old and the new parts of the Sozopo, with a beautiful beach. This is the port of Sozopo and some of the vessels here are very attractive. We leave Sozopo and proceed southward. This is a villa zone called Burjaka, located on the next peninsula on the way. After Burjaka, we reach Kavacite, a beautiful beach with sand dunes. We cross another small peninsula and arrive at a larger bay. Here is the long beach of Duni, which means dunes. The beach stretches at the left side of the road and at its right side is the swamp lake Aleppo. From here we enter a beautiful natural area full of wild forests and rivers. Follow us in the next video on the Bulgarian Riviera series to find more gems and sites and subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon for more video journeys.